You want the best for your car? You already watch our tutorials. So the best place for the best deal is to buy from the Mr. Auto app. Easy, fast, and with better prices than on the website. In order to change the oil, you will have to purchase an oil filter, an engine flush, and an oil can. You can find the recommended parts and products in the video description, as well as a link that will tell you the type of oil and the amount needed. Turn off your engine ignition, engage the parking brake, pull the hood release, and open the hood. Open the oil filler cap. This will facilitate the flow of oil when draining. Before each draining, we recommend adding a pre-oil change cleaner to the used oil. This will enable you to unplug your engine and get rid of any persistent residue, to reduce the consumption of oil and fuel, and to reduce polluting emissions for the next technical checkup. Before using it, start your vehicle for five minutes so that the oil is slightly warm. Then add the product and let your engine turn over slowly for 10 to 15 minutes. Once the product has been added, do not drive your car. Make sure to change the oil immediately afterwards. Lift the front of your vehicle and set it in the two axle stands. This will allow you to access the drain bolt. We do strongly suggest watching the tutorial, safely lifting your vehicle before carrying out this step. You can then remove the plastic cover if present to access the drain bolt. You can now see the drain bolt. Start loosening the drain nut with a socket wrench and a 12mm Allen socket. Then finish it off by hand. Be careful on the last few turns of the screw. The oil can squirt suddenly. You will have to anticipate making sure you have an oil recovery can at your disposal. We even suggest you craft one watching another of our videos how to make a collector for liquids. Let the oil flow for about 10 minutes. When you drain oil, you also need to replace the oil filter. Access to oil filter is from below. To collect the oil contained in the filter that might come out when it's removed, place a liquid collector underneath. Using a chain wrench, release the oil filter by turning it counterclockwise until it turns easily. Finish unscrewing the cap by hand. If it's not possible, see the tips video unscrewing a blocked oil filter. When released, turn it upwards to avoid spilling any oil. All parts used in this tutorial are supplied by our trusted partners. These partners also help us create as many video tutorials as possible. Check them out in the description below. Take the new filter. Lightly cut the seal with oil on the screwed side. This will avoid too much friction, which can reduce the seal's water tightness. It also makes it easier to assemble. Screw the filter by hand until it makes contact. At this point, grasp it with your full hand and add a half turn of tightening. Replace the drain seal with a new one, then screw the drain nut back in. Start by hand, then finish off using a wrench without being over sellers, of course. It is necessary at this point to pour oil back into the motor. This step must be done with care and precision. Put the crankcase back in place first, then lower your car to the ground and check the oil level. This is something that can only be done when the vehicle is flat. Begin by putting 90% of the suggested amount. This will leave you a large enough margin to adjust the level of oil appropriately. You can find in the tutorial's description the exact quantity of oil recommended for your car. Close the oil fill plug. Start the engine and let the car run for 30 seconds. This will fill the oil filter. Remove the oil gauge and wipe it down. Plunge it back into its sheath, remove it again and check the oil level. The optimal level is near the maximum, but be careful never to go over it. Based on the level indicated on the gauge, adjust to reach the optimum amount. Operation completed. 
Hi, it's Theo from Usetool. I hope this video has helped you a lot in your car maintenance. We would be super grateful if you could spread the word so that we can produce even more tutorials. Simply give us a like, a comment, and hit that subscribe button. It really helps us boost the channel and help the whole community. Thanks a lot and have a great one.